Hey everyone, welcome to my layout planning video. I am completely redoing this because the Instagram live stream's audio was just dog shit. First off, I normally, uh, once I've got stuff kind of planned for a project, I keep them in individual bags like this. So I've got my red, purple, black and white triangles for my triangles only vest. I've got a green one going and then these are kind of just spares. But I've brought out most everything I have to show you kind of the process I take when I plan layouts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is probably separate things into similar shapes. All right, so I've got everything divided up by shape, kind of similar shapes to make things easier for me. So the first thing when it comes to making my layouts is I found out that early on my layouts weren't quite as interesting because I would just get a patch in the mail and immediately try to slap it on, which is fine. You can do the kind of like puzzle piece clusterfuck approach. You can also do a clusterfuck with more planning, which tends to turn out a little better. But I, I have both. Um, it's kind of up to you what you decide. I like both styles. But I've been gravitating more as time goes by to interesting and like symmetrical layouts and stuff. So the first thing is I save stuff so that I have more options as far as planning later. One thing I really like to try and do, like with my uh, Annihilator Never Never Land vest, and I'll put this stuff on screen so you guys can see them, is I try to find like a theme with the band name or something to create an interesting idea. So like the Never Never Land one, I tied a Ride the Lightning patch with a silver border into the lightning that was striking at the top of the artwork. I thought it ended up looking pretty cool. So like Singularity is literally a black hole. So I thought that it would be a cool idea to to have um, kind of circling shapes or circle shapes going around it, maybe in like a spiral, like they are getting sucked into this black hole. This is kind of a uh, rough idea. I don't necessarily know that this will be something I'll do. I don't have another circle, but I can use something kind of close there. So I could do it just like evenly, or I could have them kind of like gradually getting closer, but I just don't feel like that would work super well. I don't know, this one is gonna take a little more time probably to flesh out. And I may not do that at all, I may just use the Singularity back patch on uh, my black and white vest. But I did want to show, I'm trying to show everything that I showed in the live stream to kind of recapture it and make it uh, a little more available and with some better sound quality. The other thing I make sure to do is to always snap a picture of ideas that I take. Uh, I'm gonna have these recorded on video so I won't do it now, but um, I always snap pictures because it kind of helps me see the process as I get my layout looking better and better, kind of what it started as, and uh, just gives me more ideas is to draw from later. Okay, the other one I kind of was going over in my live stream was possibly doing a uh, only oversized patches type deal. So I had Juice Priest there. And then uh, one of the things I like to do that I was talking about is I like to line stuff up so that it looks even and it looks symmetrical. So like the top of this patch here is kind of lining up with that Judas Priest cross. And one of the things personally that uh, is kind of my own preference and taste is uh, I hate covering up band logos and album titles. I really try not to obscure the artwork as much as possible. Um, again, that's completely up to you. I'm not telling you what to do or how you should do things. This is just to hopefully um, spur ideas in other people and I'm just kind of telling you the way that I do things. So I don't really like to cover up artwork as much as possible. So like I'll do a little bit of overlap. So like something like that I would do, I don't know. You could also lap it a little closer. Like I'm okay with covering a little bit. It's not a ton. And this is just kind of an idea I'm playing around with. This might not even actually happen because you do with oversized patches you're much more limited um, with what's gonna fit where. I like to, when I plan layouts, I like to look for like a similar flow between patches or edges so that stuff kind of fits together real nice and doesn't cover each other up. Like I would I would pretty much never do that just because it covers this almost completely and if I decide I do want it there I'd have to like bury a good portion of this hand and I don't really like doing that either because this is such a badass patch I think it needs to be displayed more openly so you can see the whole thing and that's where I I think that uh doing this type of layout well is going to be tough 
because each of these patches is so detailed and looks so cool that I don't really want to risk covering very much of any of them up and that is going to make it hard to really pull this off well. Another thing I was saying in the live stream is uh, rather than you know force a big patch in here or even when I'm doing patches with smaller or vests with smaller patches trying to squeeze like a a big patch into this space or like here um, I usually try to avoid that and I'd rather um, try to find a small patch online or just custom order a little embroidered patch or maybe put a guitar pick or something rather than just like fill this in and cover it because even if I use a, a little patch you still lose a huge portion of the artwork there and I that's my personal preference is I don't like to do that so that's kind of the uh, the idea for the oversized patches and again I might not even end up doing this but I think if I could find a good layout for it it would come out pretty cool I have quite a few back patches that I haven't used now and so I'm trying to think of more interesting projects to start but if you guys want maybe uh, one of these times I can do a uh, like battle vest or battle jacket tour video and kind of just go through all of them and show them all closer yeah if that's something you'd be interested go ahead and uh, comment and let me know okay so another one I showed in my live stream is this kind of deal so typically I, I mean a lot of people do this you start with a like oversized patch up top or bottom I like this one because of the way that this fits right in between the A and the N there Obviously try not to cover up the Annihilator logo too much. Probably bring this down a little bit so it can actually sit under the collar. And then maybe like a strip patch at the bottom. But I see that done a lot. So I'm going to do, since I, that's something I also have kind of already done. Um, the big thing with, with me individually is I, I really want to... Uh, make my vest look completely different from anything else I've ever seen. Not to bag on anyone else's or anything, because vests are just sick as fuck in general. But I want mine to be um, pretty memorable. So as soon as you see it, you, you just know that that's one of mine. And then if you ever see me in the crowd, you'd know. If you ever see me at a show, please come up and say hi. I'd like to meet you guys. So maybe I'd put the oversized below on this one. And then I think I had a some sort of plan where I'd set that one up there. I just really like the way that looks with the, uh, the straight line there and then fitting in between those two points. I think it looks pretty nice. If you have two patches that are pretty similar size, try to like kind of match them, make sure they look uh, about the same height on the vest so that it doesn't throw anything off. I think that looks pretty good. This fits right in there on that patch, not covering up the logo. That doesn't cover up too much, and then I can squeeze these right in close to that, but still keep it completely visible. So I'm looking at the way that this arm is kind of that same line as like this. And so maybe I'd put one of those there. Um, like I was talking about in the live stream, that kind of poses a problem on this side. So I don't know if it's something I'd be able to pull off. I could do that. And it honestly does does look good here. It looks good here, but I do not like how much of the vintage back patch I'm covering up there. So I don't know if I'd actually go through with that, but this is just kind of uh, for ideas sake. You guys will have to excuse me because I'm I'm currently also watching the live stream on my phone to try and remember kind of what I was doing and what I was talking about because I want to try and cover the same stuff. Um, so it looks like I put one of these here. Maybe this would not be the case later, but I also am trying to do this kind of fast. So obviously the process when you are doing this can take a lot longer. Um, you might want to be more, you know, think about your process a lot more and move stuff around a lot more. But this is just kind of how I build symmetrical layouts. Like I like uh, this. These two would go together nicely there, but I don't want to cover up the top of that, and I don't want to cover up that. Um, so maybe I could put them somewhere out here, but you're going to start running out of room uh, on your sleeve. So it's just a matter of, you know, taking your patches and placing them around in different spots to see, you know, what would kind of be the best. I could probably work, work with that. So again, I'd take something like this, and you can see kind of here is like a negative space that almost kind of matches sorry i'm going to be uh bumping the tripod a little bit because i'm working around it here to get a good shot I'm looking for you know negative spaces that have the same edge as like the patch that i'm trying to 
put it next to. I have two of these. One of them is being claimed by someone else and trading it away, but I might as well use it for the video. I maybe would move that one out of here and have this one here to match the other side better. I just look at stuff like this and that's kind of how I would start this area of the vest because this fits so nice next to that R. I would almost kind of build I'd start with that patch there and build off of it and try not to cover that area up too much because of um, that just looks clean and I like I mean a lot of guys like their vest dirty and beat up I don't know I uh, I'm a little bit of both worlds I want it to look that way over time but at the beginning like I want it to look clean and this has been changed up a little bit from uh, the live stream originally because I had this up top and I was kind of putting this next to it and that looks pretty cool I like that a lot so maybe I'd change this up because it fits just right next to that O so nicely I don't have another shape exactly like that but and I do have other shields that maybe would look okay I've got Nile on here three times so that's another thing I don't usually ever do is I would never have like this going on unless it's a tribute vest it really helps to expand how much music you're listening to if you're having a hard time finding you know enough patches to really fill your vest listen to more bands i'm really not picky when it comes to rock and metal i mean it depends like when you start going into softer rock i have a harder time with it but i like some of it especially if it's like 80s but anything else like as soon as, soon as you start getting into the heavier aspect of stuff i pretty much like just about all of it you know, i listen to tons and tons of music and it helps me honestly not run out of uh patches or make it hard to find bands ever because there's just so much this is actually completely different from the way i had had it in the uh the live stream but this back patch is going to be a tough one to plan around and i noticed that as soon as i got it because uh their logo is mostly straight but still has those parts that point up so it's going to take a bit of time to find something that fits in there and doesn't really uh like fuck it up and obviously you can uh just layer the fuck out of these until you've got a completely covered um german style look so like i think up here my best bet's probably gonna be a triangle against that a i think would look pretty clean so the way this back patch is i think it's going to be pretty tough actually to do a symmetrical layout i think that there will be some maybe down here um, but i think ultimately it's probably just going to end up being a cluster or if i'm going to do symmetry it'll be something where i keep it off the back patch entirely and just do it like down here with a few sparse patches up here or on the sides okay so let's start another one here and i believe i used the dissection back patch for this again i'm going off the live stream video so i'm trying to kind of match what i was doing that last one i changed it up a bit but this one i think i'm gonna probably keep about the same so it looks like i did some coffins like this trying to make them pretty even and then um let's see my shield patches here Threw in a couple of these, so it looked like I had that higher, actually. So the other thing is, if I if I do this and I'm just kind of like, ah, the colors look way too, like, clashy, um, what I would do is just, you know, take a picture of this, save the idea, and, you know, keep looking until I find another patch of a band that I like that's, like, same shape with the color that I want. So maybe I'd do, like, blues and purples, and I'd just try to find... Um, a couple different coffins that are blue or purple to match better. It's all about taking your time, at least as far as this goes for me. Um, try to take my time a little bit more, even though like I'm super stoked every time I get patches, like I want to put them on so bad, but I have to hold back because the end result just, I feel like it looks better with a lot more planning. I think I put something like this. It feels like this vest is smaller than when I did the original video. But. So when I'm doing, um, layouts like this where it's all focused on um, connecting shapes and stuff i really am not worrying about filling up every single ounce of the denim i'm focusing on um, the shapes and how they look interesting together so i probably wouldn't end up putting anything in either of these spaces because 
it I honestly think it looks more interesting like this and this is what I might go forward with I think it looks kind of cool um, again I might wait until I can get some different colors going especially because these green ones I plan on doing like a toxic green focus vest so those are probably going to get used elsewhere uh, yeah I would not fill this in obviously if you were doing something similar to this it's totally up to you you could do that um, I'd probably bring this down a little more, close that gap, but try to keep this off of the, the title. Both of these are probably going to get used up on my one of my other vests too, but I think I had something going like this around the Slayer there. Those are the only two of that shape that I have, so I don't know if it would work with the suffocation though. I'd have to kind of tilt it and... I'd want it to match the other side exactly instead of... That's the other thing I, I really try to focus on is uh, when I'm actually sewing stuff on, if you're trying to go for like a clean look and you're doing the symmetry thing, make sure you're like, use lines in your vest to make sure stuff looks straight. So like this one, I wouldn't put it on like that because this is not a straight line. I'd try to line up the bottom nice and straight with the bottom of the vest my personal preference you don't have to do it that way um some vests i'll just yeah i'll just throw them on and tilt them and put them facing whatever direction i almost never do them sideways if i can help it unless it's like a vertical uh band logo that's specifically made that way so it looks like i had these two back in here again these are probably gonna be used for the neon green vest but so I'd maybe throw one like that in here. And if I decide I like that one also, I'd probably take a picture of both. That way I can remember uh, I had this idea or that idea. But I do have two of these shapes already, so I could put them in there like that. I think it's looking pretty cool so far. I'm torn between like filling in these blank spaces or leaving them open and a lot of times I tend to just leave spaces like this blank because I think that negative spaces can leave just as much of an impact as just loading it with patches and if you've come up with a pretty cool interesting um, symmetrical layout you want um, the focus to be on that cool um, arrangement of shapes that you've come up with I would just not overdo it. Um, I think I have a tendency sometimes to try and overdo it, and as time goes by, I, I realize that if I just uh, slow it down a little bit and not try to like squeeze as much stuff in as possible, obviously it changes from vest to vest, but um, I think on this idea, I would just leave this stuff open, because I think the way that those look as they are now look pretty cool and then obviously uh, saving a picture of this and possibly adding more to it later maybe not um, these shapes are tough because you end up with do you it's kind of a toss-up of what you put above them but I'd maybe just pick something uh, pick something square I don't want to cover this up either but you could maybe just space it apart like that not worry so much about tucking them underneath each other or whatever it might be all right and then maybe like just a, a small like embroidered logo there or there maybe a strip patch up top most of these i have are pretty wide but i have a couple that are a little bit skinnier the forced entry i don't know maybe not up there i think it would have to be something even skinnier which is probably going to also be a like a logo. I have this Exodus back patch on this one. So for layout sake, I'm going to put that there. This one's upside down and this is just placeholder um, so that I can remember this idea. I would, I would wait until I found another band I liked that had a patch of that shape in the right direction. A bit like that. And I have this, uh, have this vintage Crumb Suckers patch in there. So what I was planning on having happen is, um, you know, stitch it in and then probably slice some of that stuff open. And like this Megadeth strip up here, probably, I don't know, I might slice that. This one, you can still see the patch enough. I might let it kind of do it on its own. The one down here, I'll probably open up a little more so you can actually see it. Um, but over time, I think it would look cool um, with the like string like hanging down and, and tattered and stuff. I had a pyrexia down below this. 
Something like that. And then I think I had a couple triangles in here maybe. Put something on this side to match this one. And I had like an atheist one, a tombstone or somewhere here. And I'd probably leave it somewhere like that for the back. I don't know that I'd do a whole ton more. Um, again, I'd try not to overdo stuff. Um, sometimes simpler looks better. And in this case, I think with the with the rips and stuff and the like star pattern underneath, I think it's complicated enough already to just kind of leave it alone. So it actually turns out that the uh, audio issue issue in the original live stream didn't really have anything to do with my AirPod or my uh, phone speakers. It's just, uh, I don't know if it's our internet, it's just the live streaming or what, because I take videos on my phone all the time and the sound is totally fine. Um, I make phone calls on my AirPods all the time. Sound quality is totally fine. It's very strange. I don't know why it uh, literally just sounded muffled and like it was going in and out constantly dipping and just really shitty overall. So hopefully uh, you guys like this a bit better. And uh, so the front of this vest is pretty chaotic to begin with. And that's why I don't think I, uh, I want to overdo this vest completely. So I'm probably going to try to keep the uh, the rips and tears visible on this because I think it looks cool like that already. So I'm going to try to fill in the uh, just the space with just the denim, um, like this side and the middle and that side. Probably more than putting anything over the top of the tears. I do like some strips down here. Maybe cover just a tiny bit of the tearing there, but... Not a whole lot of Baphomet and Jungle Rot. I'm not, um, some people are pretty particular, I think I was saying this before, about like, oh, I have to like, like, tons of music by such and such band before I put them on my vest. And I'm just not the same way. I'm all about supporting new acts because, you know, sometimes you just find a band that's coming up and they just absolutely slay and you want to support them and, I mean, I might not be able to right off the cuff name like a shit ton of songs from them if somebody asks me, but like the way I look at it is I put them on my vest and I plan on continuing to listen to and follow them for the rest of my life and I'll just continue to be a bigger and bigger fan over time and that's kind of the way I look at it. I'd rather buy a patch and help support them, especially if they're new, and to help them be able to keep doing what they're doing because I hate seeing bands um, fall apart and not be able to keep playing. It's sad. Also, there's uh, there's quite a few bands that like. I mean, going by that rule, if you only put bands on there, you know that you you like like five albums by at least or something. You know, you have bands that were such a small thing in the '80s or whatever that only put out one album, and I just don't know how to really reconcile that. <laughs> I'd rather just put anything I like on, and if they don't have much music out, that's just the way it is. I'd probably keep this minimum. I don't know, maybe put uh, another embroidered logo there to match. That could also go like over here. I think it kind of looks cool next to that blood incantation one. I'd probably not do anything in the center of this, but I don't know, maybe if I decided, you know, to go even more minimal, I could just do like one in the middle here and that might look okay, but I don't know. I, I feel like I'd probably leave it open. That's mainly uh, what I covered in the live stream. If there are any additional questions you guys have about stuff or something you'd like to see, go ahead and leave it in the comments. I can try to answer it or possibly do another video where I go over that particular thing. Today I'm going to do a video about my sewing process and I'll probably talk a little bit about how I inlay fabric. So I have some vests and I'll put one of them on the screen where I've inlaid like fabric here custom fabric or whatever and some people might not know how to even go about doing that so I'll go over that and I'll go over my just general sewing process and then I'll also try to remember to do the guitar picks if I have one where I can actually demonstrate it I'll do that if not I'll kind of just zoom in on uh, ones that I've already sewn and kind of show you how I went about it because I really only feel like drilling through guitar picks to put them on if I'm actually going to put them on like I'm a hundred percent sure <laughs> 
Otherwise, I don't like to ruin them because they are still a collector's item, but... Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope to be able to do some more. Maybe I'll, uh, when I'm doing more layout planning, I'll just make it into a video so you guys can follow along and uh, kind of see the process on different vests. So, um, hope you enjoyed, and keep it metal, guys. Until next time.